time is something we think we understand. It ticks away second by second, pulling us from the past into the future. But what if I told you everything you think you know about time might be wrong? What if time is in fact an illusion? The physics of time. Let's start with the science. In 1905, Albert Einstein changed our understanding of the universe with the theory of relativity. He showed us that it isn't constant, it's relative. And if you travel close to the speed of light or experience intense gravity, time slows down. This isn't science fiction, it's been proven with atomic clocks and astronauts in space. But that's just the beginning. Einstein's theory also revealed the space and time are intertwined, forming a four-dimensional fabric that we call space-time. And here's where it gets even weirder. Some physicists believe in what's called the block universe theory. According to this idea, past, present and future all exist simultaneously, frozen in a four-dimensional block. In this view, time doesn't flow. Instead, our perception of moving through time is just that, a perception. Philosophy and time. Now, let's bring in the philosophers. Immanuel Kant, one of the world's most influential thinkers of the 18th century, argued that time isn't something out there in the universe. Instead, it is a framework our minds use to make sense of the world. In other words, time would be nothing more than a mental construct. This brings us to two philosophical camps, presentism and eternalism. The presentists believe that only the present moment is real. The past is gone, the future hasn't happened yet. It sounds logical, right? But the eternalists, on the other hand, argue that all points of time are equally real, that yesterday, today and tomorrow all exist in a vast, unchanging block. The flow of time, it's just an illusion our minds create to navigate our reality. Quantum mechanics and the nature of time. But wait, there's more. Quantum mechanics throws yet another wrench into the works. Take quantum entanglement for an example, where there are two particles connected, instantly affecting each other no matter what the distance. This seems to defy our common understanding of time and space. And then there's the many worlds interpretation which suggests that every possible outcome of a quantum event actually happens, creating countless parallel universes. In this view, time isn't a single line, but a vast web of branching possibilities. The arrow of time. So why do we feel like time flows in one direction? from the past into the future. One answer comes from the second law of thermodynamics, entropy. The law tells us that the universe tends towards disorder, giving us a so-called arrow of time. But even this is more about probability than a fundamental rule of the universe. In this theory, if you could track every single particle in a system, you could reverse the flow of time. Metaphysics and Consciousness So let's take a step into metaphysics. Some thinkers suggest that it might be entirely a construct of consciousness. Without us perceiving it, would time even exist? The idea is echoed in the simulated reality hypothesis. Yes, the one that suggests our entire universe might be a simulation. If time is programmed into the simulation, it could be manipulated, paused, or even reversed. What does that say about our perception of time? 
Conclusion So is time an illusion, from the block universe to quantum entanglement, and from the philosophical debates to the mysteries of consciousness? It is clear that time is far more complex and stranger than our everyday experience suggests. Whether or not time is an illusion might depend on your perspective. But one thing is certain. The true nature of time is one of the biggest mysteries in our understanding of the universe. If you enjoyed this dive into the mysteries of time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.